family members and today you're welcome to another edition of the King Stevens Holden's Movement. Um, today I'm going to be real quick because I don't have much time. I've been working a lot lately so I just want to answer a very simple question. A friend of mine just called me and told me he had a problem grading an S-Log footage. So today I'm just here to show you a quick tutorial on how to grade S-Log footages. Before we move ahead, for those who are just coming new and for those who haven't subscribed, you can just go ahead and subscribe and let's go. Okay, so basically, we're going to be doing this in two programs. We're going to be working in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. A lot of people don't use DaVinci Resolve. Some people use DaVinci Resolve, some don't use it. A lot of people use Premiere Pro because it's easy to use. And so it's, it will be very, very important if I grade two in Premiere Pro. So this is a footage shot with the Sony A7S Mark II. S-Log profile picture style. This is an S-Log 2 image and this is an S-Log 3 image. So you can see how flat it is. And most of the times it's always very difficult grading these images because you have no color at all. So today I'm just going to show you the techniques on how to do it. Don't focus on my grade because my grade might not be perfect, but um, focus on the techniques because I'm going to be real quick. You have three steps in color grading. Grading. The first step is basic color correction. The second one is secondary color correction. Now you have the color grading itself. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with the basic color correction, which is thus fixing the blacks like so, the contrast, bringing out the highlights, doing the saturation. You see how the image is already coming to life. You can see for yourself. Maybe taking up the whites a little, the shadows down a little. Um... As you can see, the image is already coming to life. I think I have some much green in my shot. I just take it out, put in some more red. So you can see right away we have we have something we can work with. So this is before and this is after. Before, after, before and after. This is the basic color correction which you should do before any grade. So we move over to what we call the secondary color correction which is just going to be... Let's say we want the sky to be a little bit blue. So we can now um, just... Maybe pick this pen tool and click right over here. Um, click on the box, try to select the sky only. Then maybe kind of make it blue at this saturation. Sorry, Adobe Premiere did a mistake with this sharpen. Sharpen here means saturation. So just add this to sharpen a little bit. As you can see, before, after before after the sky is blue already so color grading i'll just come to creative tab then um, open look choose um, one of my lots i think this tv strip lots will go then maybe reduce the intensity to about say 70 percent you can see how my image pops out already just with that single lot see before after before after okay let's say the image is too red i want to take out some red i'll just come over to um basic color correction let me see i'll take of some red like so add some more blue like so go back to my creative tab i want to have this faded film so i'll just put up the faded film like so i want to make the blue more blue so just come to the blue channel here and then add this cyan color let me take it up like so you can see what what it does to the image so see before and after you can see what it does to the image basically i think that's it i mean you, you can see how the image transformed from this to this in no time these to these so let's move right over to the next image basically we just want to do the same thing basic color correction gonna be the same contrast saturation um, highlight create more contrast on the image exposure okay take the darks down you can see how already the image look good you can see for yourself secondary color correction which is gonna be maybe around here i just wanted to make this pink a little bit more pink um so i just selected okay so right over here i've selected the pink it's really selected so i can just maybe add the saturation you can see for yourself right away it's going it's going there <laughs> okay then so maybe doing my color grading now just come over to creative back to my lot back osiris lot mm, i think it's kind of better so I'll just put this to let's say 70 the intensity to 70 okay you can see how good it looks so i can now maybe play with some more contrast bring down my shadows maybe come to my curves Work on the curves a little, creating that earth curve to 
to create contrast in the image you see how it goes then maybe doing some little bit faded film here will help so right away you can see how how the image looks already you can see how you can use these tools to get what you want so let's move over to davinci resolve which is very flexible to great this davinci resolve right over here color tab okay in davinci resolve color tab firstly you just create a node create another node here in this first node i want to do the same thing basic color correction which is creating contrast so i'll take down my lift take the gamma up a little the gain up a little why not contrast saturation pop up the saturation to 100 you can see how with just one note we have something we can work with okay so maybe white balance um take my temperature down is too yellowish so i think this is something i can go with so this is my primary color correction i'll go over to my secondary color correction which is just going to be bringing out the colors i want to bring for example um i want to bring out this blue so i'll come over to my pen tool here click on it you can see what it does now just select it's the same thing we did in premiere pro so it's just an advanced way of doing it now because i can now select um, this blue blur it then come over here um add the saturation like so maybe add the colors again blue you see you see how flexible it is okay then i can create a parallel node where i'll be able to work maybe just on the skin tones or maybe i just want this green out here to be green so click on it click on this window so i can see just what i selected uh add the selection let me see if i can add some of these clothes it's okay if this cloth comes in because i think it's kind of yellowish and greenish so it's okay um it's just for tutorial sake please remember that so i can now um make maybe make it green at the saturation a little you see how it comes out sweet maybe i want to make sure that my skin color is, is right i just click on it still on my hsl tool click on it click on the skin um pick the skin Make sure I'm just on the skin. It's okay if other other parts of the images are affected because they have almost the same color color with the skin. So it's okay. You might want to select just the skin. You you might just go ahead and focus on just the skin. But this is just for tutorial sake. So okay, then maybe make it blur. Come over to the skin. Maybe just go to lock. Touch the skin a little bit more to the yellow. Add some red to the shadows and some blue to the highlights. So I'm done with the secondary color correction. Now go to my color grading, which is where I just add my lots. I can come over to this, create another node, come over here, then just to my ascent lot, add the three strip lots. This is one I used in Premiere Pro. It's too much. You can come over to the key and dial it down to let's say 50%. You can see how it looks. It's too red. I can add another note where I'll be able to do my corrections. In the primary, maybe add some more blues and the highlights. Um, right over here, take down this blue mix to zero. Then you can now take away some red and the mid tones. That's why I say. Um, Davinci Resolve is really flexible because you can really go detail doing color grading. So you can now take some reds down. You can see what it does. You see that? Okay, you can add some more blue on the highlights. Take some more red up again in the highlight. I mean, you get the idea. This is before and after, before and after. Let me make a big screen so you can see. So you have before and after, before and after. You, you, can, you, you can see the difference. Moving over to the next image, which is Mine. Um, the same, the same procedure. Create a new, a new serial node. Come over to the first serial node. Yes. Yes. Come over to the first. You idiot. Come over to the first. Come over to the first node. Forget about these guys. They're crazy. It's the same ideas. Contrast. You know, add this, uh, add the saturation up. Let's say to 100. Add your contrast. Bring down your shadows. Yeah, lift gamma and gain. Just adjust it. Just go around and play around with it. You can see how it changes the image already. Create another um, parallel note. Then you can now, um, yeah, you can now select just the pink. So I'm using the same ideas I did with Premiere Pro. I'm just using the same here. So we get to understand. Remember, I'm just being very fast because it's, it's just for this tutorial's sake. So I want to make the pink a little bit more pink. 
maybe add some more pink right over to the mid tone and to the highlights add some more blue you see you see before and after you can see the difference yourself maybe yeah play with my skin color um right over here blur it out come over to the skin luma mix down to zero make sure you're on the primary bars then take the luma mix down to zero then now uh, you can work on the skin you can add red if you want you can take down red if you want to like so or you can add the red if you want to let's say let me add some more red and bring down blue so you can the skin can be a little bit pop you can see the difference you can add some more contrast on the skin if you want the skin to really pop out maybe add some more lights into the skin you can see that for yourself you can see how it changes that look already before and after you see, that's why Adobe DaVinci Resolve is really, really great in such works. Right over, go to your color grading, um, which is going to be adding your lots if you want to. If you, if you like the image the way it is, you can just, just look at it. It's really, it looks good already. Add a lot. Let's say I want um, the same lot we use for... Um, Premiere Pro, let's use it here. It used the uh, opacity to let's say 40. Mm -hmm. You can see before and after. Let's create another Syria node where we'll be able to adjust the image. I want to add some more blue. Make sure anytime you're on the primary bars, you take down the Luma mix down to zero. Um, let me add some more blue to the highlights. You can see how it changes that look already. You can see that for yourself okay i like the mid tones i like the shadows let's say i want to add some faded film look because i always like using that i could just hold down shift and click on my curve to make sure that this thing stays in line so if you don't hold shift it's gonna go up or down then maybe bring this up a little like so you can see what it does to that image before and after before and after before after before after so you can see how those three steps help to grade your image how those three steps help to boost your s lock images especially for those shooting on sony series and maybe black magic panasonic gh4 or gh5 you can use these three steps basic color correction secondary color correction and then you do your color grading both in premiere pro and davinci resolve so thank you once more i hope you learned something i hope you understand what i'm trying to say for those who didn't understand much you can go ahead and ask more questions and i'm ready to answer it with a video tutorial thank you once more for staying here with me till the end so for those who haven't subscribed you can go ahead and subscribe so you can be updated on every tutorials i'm put online so like the video share the video so others could learn something from it and once again you're welcome to the kang stevens hold and smooth man and see you the next, next time, time.